Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a second year doctor of physical therapy student living in Atlanta, Georgia, and I make videos on my channel about my journey in PT school, so if you are new here, you should totally take a second and subscribe down below, but today I'm going to be filming what is in my clinical bag. So if you didn't watch my last video, you would not know this, but I have a short-term clinical rotation this semester at an outpatient orthopedic clinic, and I vlogged my first day of clinical if you want to check that out. I will have it linked in a card above, but in that video I mentioned that I would be sharing what is in my clinical bag because I got some exciting, fun new things to share with you guys. If you have been subscribed to me for a while, you may know this, but last semester I filmed a what's in my medical kit bag, and these bags were given to us by my school, and they are filled with all of our PT supplies, like goniometer, stethoscope, pulse ox, etc., etc. And the reason I don't bring that bag to clinical is because I also need to bring, like, a lunch, my phone, my wallet, etc., etc., and I don't need everything that's in that med kit so what I use actually is this bag it is from Scout and I absolutely love it I've had it for a while because I used it when I was a registered behavior technician in college I would go to children's houses and do in-home ABA therapy with them and have to bring like board games and stuff so I would always transport them in this tote and I love it because the material is like I don't like paper like more kind of like plasticky like kind of like a reusable grocery bag material but not in a bad way at all because I love this bag but you can easily wipe it down so that was nice when I had a clinical in the hospital and I used this bag because obviously it's like sitting on the gross hospital floor so I could just come home and wipe down the bottom of it and not have to be worried about COVID and all of that so I'm just going to start by showing you guys what all is in this bag. Start in the first pocket. I just have my gate belt. It's just the one that my school got me. But a lot of people in my class have bought like pink ones and purple ones and striped ones. So I am thinking about getting one of those. But obviously an essential. If you don't know what a gate belt is. If you're not in PT school yet. I feel like I didn't know what this was until after. But... Basically, you put it around a patient's waist. I did it the wrong way. Good job, Kristen. <laughs> you put the buckle through the, the little teeth part, through the teeth, pull. And then this goes around the patient's waist, like a little belt, and you hold onto it and guard. So if a patient's working on walking for the first time post-injury or something, or doing balance where they're at risk of falling. You just need a gait belt, so that is why I have that. Into the next little front pocket here, I have this little tiny notebook and a pen because if you watch my vlog, not to be so self-promoting here, but if you watch my vlog, you would know that after every day we go to clinical, we have to submit a SOAP note, which SOAP stands for Subjective Objective Assessment and Plan. So I, at lunchtime, will kind of like jot down um, a SOAP note of a patient that I say worked with an hour before. It's really fresh on my mind. So when I get home, I'm not trying to like pull from my memory all of that information. I kind of have it right here. And this was also really useful when I had my clinical in the hospital because I could keep it in my scrub pocket. But for my outpatient ortho clinical this semester, I'm in business casual. So if you're a girl, you know, business casual clothes usually don't have very big pockets. So I just keep this in my bag and whip it out at lunch and jot down what I remember, like I said. Now finally getting into what is in side of the bag here. It does have a little like top flap to zip up so it can keep everything nice and secure. But first things first, I have this stethoscope case which is so cute. It just came in from Amazon and it was like $14 so I'm going to open it and show y'all what's inside. So I'm just going to take everything out one by one here. So I have my Reflex hammer if I need to test anything on a neuro patient. 
I have my vibration fork, which this is most commonly used for patients with diabetes to check their foot sensation. Then I obviously have my stethoscope and my pulse ox. Then I have my pin meal to check for hyperalgesia, hyperalgesia and allodynia. I have my two-point discriminator, which also is kind of like a sensation thing, some scissors, and then my prized possession, my brand new goniometers, which I wanted to talk about. Well, these goniometers were actually sent to me by Precision Goniometers, so I will have them linked down below. I've been seeing them all over Instagram, so I was so excited when they offered to send me a set. But basically, it just looks like your typical old goniometer, which if you don't know what this is for, it's to measure range of motion at certain joints. You kind of put it on the joint and then move the arms. But, so obviously to know how to do that, you have to memorize like where the axis goes, where to point this arm to, where to point this arm to, the normal range of motion, which really isn't that much information and like it's something you should know if you are at clinical, but... Sometimes maybe your clinical instructor will ask you to do a skill that you haven't done in a while, you're nervous, so you're panicking and you just can't remember. So if you look closely at this goniometer, you can see right here, I'll also do a close up, it tells you exactly where to place it and the norm values. There you go, there you can see. And then same with here, it tells you where to point this arm to and where to point this arm to. Again, I will pan to it in a second, but it is just so helpful. Like it says, for example, ankle, lateral malleolus, dorsiflexion 20 degrees, point inflection 50 degrees. And then this arm goes to the fibula for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion and the lateral fifth metatarsal for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. So they sent me this one, this little tiny one for fingers and toes. And then deeper in the bag, I have the large one because obviously that's not going to fit in my little stethoscope kit. But then we have our big one here, and I'm obsessed. Next thing in my big pocket, I have my blood pressure cuff. Nothing too exciting. And then I have my lunchbox, which there's nothing in it because I don't actually have clinical today. But I usually pack like a little pre-made salad from Trader Joe's an energy bar, protein bar, just something I can eat quickly because I feel like I usually don't get a full lunch when I'm at clinical just because it's super busy with patients and stuff. And then I always, always, always bring a clipboard because if you have an initial eval and you are taking a subjective history or taking measurements, stuff like that, you need to have something to write it down on. And that is everything. Well, obviously I also bring my wallet and my phone, but like I said, don't actually have clinical today, but my bag is completely empty as you can see. And this is what I was talking about before, how you can zip it up on the top. But I will link this bag down below. Again, it's from Scout and I think it is absolutely perfect if you are in clinical for physical therapy, nursing, OT, whatever. I think it's a great bag. I think that wraps up this video. I know this was super short, but that is everything that I bring to my outpatient orthopedic clinical. So if you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments down below. And I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, but this isn't a long-term clinical rotation. I still am in a full semester of classes right now, and I would just go to clinical on Wednesdays a few times throughout the semester just to kind of get some experience before I go off to a full-time placement in May, which I will be sharing with you guys soon where I am going. I have gotten word of where I may be going, but it's not finalized yet, so I will let you guys know then. Fingers crossed everything works out with that, but I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me on my physical therapy journey, and I will see you guys in my next video next Saturday. Bye, friends! Thank you.